Tre ambientalisti radicali si uniscono per compiere la più grande protesta della loro vita, l'esplosione di una diga idroelettrica. Raggiunto l'obiettivo, le vite dei tre cambieranno radicalmente. Ecco di che cosa parla Night Moves, il film di Kelly Richard presentato in concorso al Festival del Cinema di Venezia. I protagonisti sono tre bravissimi e giovani attori, Peter Sasgard, Jesse Eisenberg e Dakota Fanning. One of our producers, Neil Kopp, who was born and raised in Oregon, who also spent a lot of time with his family, traveling and camping through Oregon. Um, it's, it's a place where people are very attached to the landscape and there's you know, people that want to log that landscape and there's people that want to um, uh, preserve the landscape. And, um, and then there's a lot of organic farming, people sort of wanting to create their own worlds where they can be self-sufficient. And uh, in, in the case of the farm we lived on, that, uh, or Jesse lived on, before we shot, where it's, uh, uh, you know, they're living just off the rainwater and uh, in the food they grow there and they're self-sustaining. And so there, there is a, a whole world of, uh, down there of trying to uh, minimize your footprint. I mean, I was aware of people who were uh, politically dogmatic or environmentally dogmatic. Um, I wasn't aware, like, to the extent that our characters, uh, I wasn't aware of anybody uh, who was kind of as um, active politically or environmentally as our characters are, but um, it's understandable when, uh, as Kelly said, you know, when you go to like this part of the country, there's a lot of uh, logging and then, you know, there's a lot of, um, as Kelly mentioned, like redirecting of water uh, through dams, which our characters are opposed to. So it's understandable that um, people would be more, um, uh, people would be more active with uh, environmental actions. I live in New York City, so we recycle, and that's the extent of our interaction with any kind of environmental dogmatism. I, w I would say it was the, the same for me, that I was had a general awareness of people who were environmentally conscious or... Um, you know, felt strongly about those issues, but it wasn't until making the movie and, and being in Oregon, um, like Kelly said, it's kind of impossible not to notice certain things and certain changes, and we filmed in places where it, it was noticeable, so um, I guess that gave me a better understanding. Yeah, I loved the character when I read it. It's, uh, you know, um, the character I play is very private. He's somebody who feels a lot, but instead of uh, expressing it to um, in any outward way kind of buries it and he has like a kind of cumulative there's a cumulative effect of constantly burying uh, anger um, uh, and when you do bury it for so long it manifests in ways that are probably more extreme than uh, were you to have some kind of release. So that's a really interesting character and an interesting kind of person to think about. Um, there's also an interesting, uh, he's also in an, in, an, in an interesting ethical position because he's doing something that uh, is damaging, but at the same time he feels like he's kind of a soldier in a greater war and he feels as though um, uh, the damage that he does is collateral damage as part of a bigger and more important uh, struggle 